All right, guys, we have uh, chicken stock cooking. What we've done is saved the bones from when we butchered our chicken and deboned them. Um, this is the bones from three separate kills. We have them in two of these roasting pans. We made herb bundles to put in them. We have celery in there. There's onion powder, garlic powder, salt and we are just cooking uh these stocks down so that we can have that on a, in our freezer what we're going to do is cook it down strain it um pick the meat for soup off of the bones and uh we'll we'll use this stock in our cooking and won't have to use the store-bought stock anymore so we're pretty excited about this. One more thing, we won't have to rely on, on Walmart or the big grocery stores for. We'll know more of what we're eating. What's the temperature you got? It's right around 200 degrees, between 2 and 210. And we're letting them cook, for, cook down for a couple days just to get every bit of flavor we can. Mm -hmm. All the, our chicken stock has been been cook have been slow cooking for two days in the roasters. Um, we got the herb bundles out. It has all cooled down. So we're gonna take these herb bundles and stick them in a bag. And we're gonna throw that this out to our chickens in the morning. And we got another one over here, another pot over here that we're gonna do. And then now I am going to take and scoop. We'll take this out, put this with the chickens too. The chickens are like this. But I'm gonna separate this stuff. I'm gonna get all the bones and everything out of our stock. All right, we'll, uh, once we get all this out of here, we'll come back and we'll start uh, filling up our containers with the beef broth or the chicken broth. I've got most everything strained out of here now, and we're gonna strain it one more time with this little strainer. And these are our- They're 32 ounce freezable containers. So that way we can, uh, keep them in the freezer. I think we may want a little heavy on the herbs. That's okay. That just means we won't have to season it when it comes time to cook with it. That's for sure. <laughs> All right, we'll get back with y'all once we uh, get the end results of this. We got all of our chicken broth in the uh, containers, ready to go into the freezer. 32 ounce containers, ready to go. And uh, we'll be able, to, if we need chicken balls, we'll be able to take it out. Cats. <laughs> the cats. Just real. <laughs> Frisky cats. But we'll be able to take the chicken broth out of the freezer and use it whenever we need it. And these are 32 ounces each. And I think we did pretty good. And now... Our broth is a little darker than most people, but I think we, uh, well, the, our, our bundles were a little bigger than. Well, also, too, these are not see through. True. These are freezer containers. So, well. Now we get to go ahead and pick through this. So, we're going to separate the, uh, the leftover stock. Uh, we got celery stock in here. We're going to put it in the, uh, bag. So I can give it to the um, birds tomorrow. 
And then uh, we're going to take care of everything else and seal it up in some Ziploc bags. So here we go.